Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and a Star Wars Battlefront news update regarding something that I know will cause quite the stir within the community, microtransactions. Earlier today a blog post by PlayStation revealed some new details on upcoming DLCs and releases coming to the PlayStation Store and on it was a bunch of upgrade packs for Star Wars Battlefront that will apparently release tomorrow. As you can see they are listed with the different trait names but in this post it didn't really explain what they actually are and if they are microtransactions or not. But a Battlefront player on the forum managed to find the ultimate upgrade pack for Xbox One on GameStop's website and on there we can get a better glimpse of what it actually is. For $20 you will instantly unlock all of the base game weapons and upgraded star cards. This most likely means that the smaller packs will unlock specific sets of weapons and star cards for maybe $5 each or something like that. So what do I think about this and what will the community think about this? Well to be honest, at the first I was a bit pissed off because of the reason that they said from the start that this game will not include any microtransactions and now they are obviously adding a way to pay to unlock stuff faster. I think a lot of people will jump on the hate wagon without actually thinking about what this means to the game. After giving it a second thought and talking with some other people I realized that this isn't as bad as a lot of people will make it sound. This is the same thing that Battlefield has done for the last couple of games where you can buy packs to unlock weapons. But I think is the whole problem with microtransactions in general is that it's a way to pay to win. But it seems like that won't be the case with these upgrade packs for the simple reason that pretty much anyone who has a decent amount of hours in the game has already unlocked all of the stuff and therefore the people who buy these packs won't get any overpowered stuff or something like that. To be completely honest, if you're a dad or just someone with very limited time, I could totally see them paying some extra money to unlock all of this stuff that they don't have the time to grind for, because to be honest, it did take a while to unlock some of the later stuff in the game. The big issue is if they would have added this at release and actually let people who pay extra money get an advantage over the other players. And that's also what I'm hoping won't be the case in the Outer Rim DLC. If these upgrade packs actually let you unlock new content faster, it's gonna become a pay to win system, which I would be pretty pissed off with. But as of right now, it's just a way for noobs and people who don't have time to play a lot to catch up to veteran players, which makes sense as the first DLC will release soon. At first I was a bit annoyed when I saw this, but after just thinking about it for a little while and reading some of the replies you guys left me, I realized that it isn't as bad. We need to see it from both perspectives. Again, I think what annoys me is the fact that they said that this game wouldn't have any microtransactions, but they added them anyways. Well, I hope that makes sense. In the end, as long as it doesn't become a pay to win system, it won't be a problem for anyone. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the force be with you.